it was as close as we got. I startled it. I wish I could have come further or just stayed behind here. Anyways, that was fun. Fun practice. I got about 20 meters. 20 meters to to there. I took my uh, blue sweater off. I think I managed to sneak at least 200 meters. That was fun. Nice, nice, nice. I took it off because of uh, the bright colors, the bright blue. Yeah, I didn't want to start with it. Yeah, I think it was a mistake to come out from those uh, bushes. I should have waited for it to come out from those uh, uh, hay balls. Fun, fun. Alright guys, so this is a birch sap, we just saw that, and this container is about 5 liters, so maybe we have half that, 2.5 liters, this one is 10 liters, we have a bit more than half, maybe it's a 7 liters now, and combined it might be 8-9 liters of birch sap, and uh, we all know how good birch sap is, it has a lot of uh, good stuff in it, healthy things. And, but maybe what we most of us don't know is that the birch sap doesn't keep very well for for a long time even if you keep it uh, refrigerated it only keeps for three four days after which it starts to uh, go bad so uh, I will uh, try to preserve this and keep it for longer I don't know how long it lasts uh, maybe 10 15 days the time it takes to uh, drink it all so we're gonna use brown sugar and regular sugar 50 50 mix ginger lemon and this is the first time i will uh, put uh, spruce needles in it and uh, i don't know how much to put in it but uh, i just want to get some flavors some spruce flavors into the uh, the drink bye bye let's start
why am I using an axe? It's a bushcraft channel after all. Okay, so, ginger, Just want to know exactly how much we have, so I'll pour it in the 10 liters. Uh, I would say nine, eight liters, eight and a half. If 10 liters is here, nine liters. There's no marking of where the 10 liters is. I would say we have 9 liters of birch sap. Ah, refreshing. Okay, so 9 liters birch sap. We'll divide in 2 half of that. So, okay, after which we take the ginger, I think I lost one, let's uh, compensate. I want to have a strong ginger taste, spicy. I think normally you don't use that much ginger. I want it to burn. Okay. So Birch sap and ginger. Okay, so we just bring it up to a boil and just wait. I forgot to mention yeast. We will also need some yeast in it for the uh, fermentation to preserve it. mix the brown sugar with the white sugar here so we have our ginger and I actually put all of the ginger mix 
it well. Usually they say that you should only put like uh, four centimeters of sliced ginger, but I might have uh, overdosed on, uh, on it now. We'll see. I like ginger. Paul also likes ginger, so. Okay. Lemon. Let it cool. And now the rest of uh, the birch sap. Yeast. Maybe this much. It's like this. So I will mix it in here. Still a bit warm. Now, the grande finale. Just leave it soak. You can, I think you can do this with just water also, the same process. But birch sap is nice. So everything is in here, everything is mixed and uh, it's still uh, warm to the touch. And I'm, I'm pretty excited. I haven't put spruce needles in it before and I have certainly not used as much ginger as I have now. I'm hoping to get the uh, good uh, burn <laughs> and uh, and yeah so this will take a couple of days to uh, get to uh, uh, the fermented state of it and uh, so we just let it cool down and uh, keep it in room temperature for one day and after which I will bottle it and keep some in, in the uh, refrigerator but uh, it would be should be good to uh, to drink already in two days. So let's get back to it. Uh, two more days. All right. So it has been one night now. One night, and we are in the afternoon. Uh, look at that. Look at that. 
Oh, and the smell. Ginger, lemon. I don't smell so much of the spruce, but let's have a taste. Fresh lemon. Ginger. The fizziness is there from the lemon and the uh, br the uh, yeast, the brewing fermentation. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's uh, bottle. Bottle it up and uh, refrigerate it. Uh, this is all birch sap. Pretty amazing. This is my second uh, batch this spring. I've already made 15 liters, so this will be about uh, 25 26 liters combined. It's quite a lot. The golden color. It's very nice. It has a strong ginger smell. Okay, what's left to be done now is we can either leave it in uh, room temperature for uh, one more day to help the fermenting uh, process faster or uh, do like I will do now, put it in the fridge and uh, prolong the uh, uh, preservation. So thank you guys for uh, following the process of uh, preserving birch sap. I really love this drink. This is a non-alcoholic version of it because uh, we don't drink alcohol. Oh, it's uh, a bit warmer now. It's a room temperature warm, maybe a bit cooler than room temperature. But uh, imagine this directly from the uh, fridge on a hot summer, uh, summer day or uh, in the sauna. Oh, I got about eight and a half liters and also it's good to not tighten the lids way way too tight because it will brew and uh, the bottles will expand there will be a lot of uh, uh, yeah if you tighten it too much you might have accidents in terms of exploding bottles anyways it's a very strong ginger taste. I put all the ginger in there. We love ginger here. And uh, the lemon also comes out. There's the sweetness and then there's the distinct birch sap uh, uh, taste. I don't taste the spruce so much. I think uh, for next time I will have to add more spruce. There's a fizziness. Thanks for watching. Can I finish that? Mm.